Welcome 509 fans to the fifth installment of this 509 web series. We're here in sunny Revelstoke, British Columbia. We got Nadine Overwater in behind me. Nadine, you have got such a cool idea for this webisode. Take us through it. Um, well, my idea was I really wanted to showcase the ladies and some of my talented friends I have out here. And you got a lot of them. I got a lot of them. Um, I wanted to challenge um, and I wanted an exploratory piece because I'm not going to be hitting big jumps this year because as you saw in my segment last year, <laughs> blew a knee. Um, so yeah, there's two riding areas that we've been to on either end and um, I want to try and connect them. So it's a pretty big mission. We need the right conditions. We need the right crew. And it has been snowing here nonstop for the last week plus. Yeah, we've had a few storms roll through. Um, so we got deep snow. Deep snow. Day one here, we got a trailer hooked onto your truck and we actually have to drive two trucks and trailers up to the top end and yeah. then hope tomorrow when we're doing our mission that we actually get <laughs> to them yeah. so we could drive home. So this is a real mission. This is yeah. super cool. And who's going to be in our group? Who do uh, you got? So we have Sheena Thomas and we have Shelly Ferguson. Three pack of girls, tight crew, turbos. Um, and you're hoping to drag me along with you? And we might drag the filmers <laughs> along too so they can capture our day. But you're going to see some trials and tribulations and hopefully some successes. And in any state, we're going to have a good day. <laughs> Let's go hit the road and go drop these trucks off at the top end. Sounds like a plan. Well, we made it to the ferry with about a second spare. As usual. As usual. <laughs> we made it though. We're here. I used to fall apart. You know. A lot of work went into planning this trip and I feel like I'm getting a little bit nervous just judging by how much snow is coming down but I think now would be an opportune time for me to get into this. Yummy. I used to Fueled by pastry. Now the light runs through my lashes. It's taken 40 years, light of sweat and tears. Mm. You are the love. I can't show you how to start to find your way. I like the old fashioned way. You give me that sweet love, those warm up and kisses. Oh. has a quirky way Circle breaks, we find a new day the Strangers we know become husbands Thank you, do for new tires, Nadine. Just, just the first of a few hiccups we might hit on the way. <laughs> Okay, so we made it to the top end or the finish line for our destination tomorrow. Nadine, uh, we already got pickled a little bit in your truck, had to pull you out once. <laughs> Are we gonna be able to drive out of here once we make it to the finish line tomorrow? Well, you know, the snow is supposed to taper, so we're <laughs> let's, banking on that. Let's hope it tapers a bit, because this is gonna be quite the mission tomorrow. Okay, so we just dropped the truck. So we got Josh's truck, we got Nadine's truck here. We're gonna hop back in the big blue and head back to Revelstoke. And we got to have a little bit of a meeting with the rest of the gang to determine safety supplies and the final route and things like that. And load your sled onto my truck. Yeah. All right, let's hit the road. All right. I'm just kind of having a broad overview of like the terrain we're going to be getting into. And as you can see, um, we're going to be exposed to avalanche train tomorrow and I knew that going into it. Um, I've been following the weather. There's lots of different like weather models you can follow and weather stations. And in addition to that, I'm out there at least once a week checking the weather and the snowpack. So I do avalanche forecasting for a logging company in this same area. We have to go in with our heads on and uh, super informed and um, 
communicating to each other and making good decisions. So, yeah, not just blindly dropping into a zone we've never been into. There's there's a lot of pre-work that goes into this. We need to gain this peak, drop down here, gain this peak, follow this ridge, drop down. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a few pulls we don't make on the first time, so probably going to pack a little bit of gas. Thirsty turbo. Fingers crossed we make it. We're going to make it. So pre-trip prep, charging, the ignites, the inReach, the light batteries for the big lights in case you spend the night, GoPro batteries, radio, watch, charging thing for more charging on the mountain. Are we forgetting We're anything? Set. Well, I gotta get all the camera stuff ready still. Oh yeah, we gotta charge some camera <laughs> stuff. That <laughs> well, we are down to the finishing touches of prep for tomorrow. Um, I'm super nervous. We went riding today just up Frisbee and holy crap, is there a lot of snow? We're actually gonna have like a really challenging day tomorrow. <laughs> Get a bit of that in me. Probably the earliest I've ever got up for sledding. It's gonna be a long day. Snow's deep, locked and loaded. Let's go pick up the rest of the crew. Who's excited? Oh yeah. Oh ready. boy. Sheena, did you and Shelly plan the matching sleds? Yes, yes we did. That way you can't tell us the lungs apart. Yep. Everyone passed the beacon check? Yep, 100%. Okay, first step of the journey. We actually accessed the parking lot. Looks like we got all our gear ready, snacks ready. You guys, you girls ready to hit the trail? Oh, we got so. enough gas to get to Timbuktu. <laughs> We oh, left, the, left the trucks at 7.30. We're doing good. And uh, yeah, we're doing good for time. We gotta start punching now this direction into the beautiful sunrise. this untouched. Hell no. Gotta play. Girls gotta play. Gotta have some fun today still. Pillow pops. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, um, I can't totally remember, but I think if you can just poke up through one of these alleys, there's lots of room to turn out if you don't make it, but right. that's our direction.
We just filled up. Now we need to go which way, Nadine? Across the lake and up. So we gotta climb, and in this snow, it's probably gonna be pretty challenging to get up there, so. Yeah. We'll just single track it one at a time and uh, try and conserve a little bit of fuel. Yeah, take the straightest line. From that ridge, then we'll get a good perspective of where we need to go next, which is basically the next mountain range beyond it. Yeah. Commenting on the beauty of the Selkirks, we still have a really long ways to go. We've used most of our spare gas, <laughs> but this is an adventure piece. So downhill sometime, right? Yeah. Actually, mostly downhill, but we just have a real cruxy uphill we got to get through. It's 11.30 here now. We're about halfway through our trip, but we kind of hit like the trickiest part. So we got a lot of tree bashing ahead of us and you know, we've already used up a good portion of our fuel, but um, looks like some fun riding. See how she goes. <laughs>
climbed through the gnarliest trees and then I got stuck in this wide open cow field. Oh my God. What happens when you stop paying attention? the cruxy uphill gnar and now we got into some playful stuff and we're feeling pretty good about ourselves because we just topped up our gas I mean we're out of spare gas but we're mostly on the downhill and like we can't pass this stuff <laughs> like hi, 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 hi. Oh, my. Hi, 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 hi. the got a little more navigating to do.
We're just trying to find our route right now down to the bottom. Looks like it gets steeper here. We might just traverse back. What do you think? Yeah, I think either back where we just sort of cranked left there. that five o'clock sucker hole and group got separated uh yeah that's the that happens though but i think we're prepared everyone's getting their lights on sheen or shelly and mike's right behind us so we'll get the group back together and light up this forest and navigate our way Filming with 509, we come out in the dark. <laughs> what do you guys think? Should we head down to the trucks now? Yeah, you know, because the ferry only runs till 9.30 tonight. What time is it? Doesn't matter. It's time to get to the trucks. <laughs> Take a little digging. No one said this was gonna be easy, right, Dina? No, I knew it too. I'm just like past tired. Just wanna be at the trucks. They're close. We're so close. Okay, after a few minutes on the shovel, Nadine's back in action. <laughs> we got a big hole there. She's got a headlamp. She's set. Let's do it. It's getting late, ladies. Ferry ends at 9.30. Well, let's hustle. Let's do this. I think we're going down now. <laughs> <laughs> now we got to go down. <laughs> yeah, but don't go left. Don't go left. Stay right. Oh, we're not in the cup lock yet, are no, we? No, no. Don't be silly. No. there near the end. It's pitch black. Picking lines in the dark. Yeah, it's seven o'clock, you know, when we were like, oh yeah, it's two. We're making a great time. And then you get stuck four times. Exactly. But yeah, we're gonna rally down this road. It's gonna be awesome. Hit the truck. Oh, it's, it's 
Well, that's a wrap on episode five of the Fueling Your Passion 509 YouTube series. Thanks for joining us. These ladies did awesome. Yep. What a ride. Tons of deep snow, a big traverse. We put on a lot of kilometers. We did put on, a, I don't actually know how many kilometers we put on today. And a good diversity of everything. Downhill, yeah. some cool challenging climbs, tree riding, yeah. a couple Alpine, little jibs. It was a good time. night vision. <laughs> now we got to quickly wrap up, catch the ferry, Get back to Revy. Go pick up the truck. Go pick up two other pickup trucks. Yeah. We still got lots of work to do, so be a long night. I forgot about that part. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about on the ride down. Well, we made it out alive. Um, what a trip. I am so exhausted. I feel like I got hit by a bus. It was a big day. It was a really big day. Couldn't have done it without such an amazing crew. Sheena and Shelly are absolute shredders and I'm super appreciative of them as well as the filmers, Mike and Josh. Thank you guys so much. As promised, at the end of this webisode, we will be announcing our 509 Women of Winter winners from the hashtag 509 Women of Winter contest. We got lots of great entries. We got almost 400 girls putting entries in and it was really hard to choose. There was so many good ones. So without further ado, top three. <laughs> winning the grand prize is